Hello everybody, I am Carmel and today I'll be talking about how I struggled with low self-esteem and I hope that it encourages somebody out there. Well, um, for as long as I could remember, I have struggled with low self-esteem and for the life in me, it's like I couldn't overcome it. I, I... You know, as a youth, we would have the youth leaders having this discussion, you know, and I did everything. You know, they say, go to the mirror as you wake up every morning, you know, speak positive things into your life and all kinds of things. And I did all of that, but it was a battle in my mind. And this has been me for up until the other day. And... So some of the things that I've struggled with, every time I receive a compliment, I just couldn't believe, like, even if the person is being genuine in my mind, I'm thinking, the person is just saying that, you know, they don't mean it. And every day will be, it will be a battle in my head, like, am I really a child of God? Does God really love me? You know, I would... If I had to compare myself to someone in the Bible, it would be Gideon. Like, I was really, really doubting myself. And it's not like I could have helped it. I really believed that I wasn't good enough. I really believed that, you know, the other person is better than I am. Whether it's better looking, whether it's more educated, whether it's... I always compared myself with others and... And I couldn't understand, you know, how damaging this was to me until I realized that this wasn't a battle, you know. For me, it was a spiritual battle. And I realized that the devil, the enemy, found my weakness. And he was using it to the best of his ability. And, and you know... I couldn't take it any longer. I, I've been, I've been a mess. I've been a wreck emotionally. I would try to keep and hide a lot of things from people, but in my mind, I felt like I was going crazy. Like I, I tried to think positive things about myself, and I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. Like I saw, I saw no good in me. And but one day I was reading the Bible after after having like a breakdown, beating up on myself, you know, thinking that I'm not good enough and and all these things. And you know, God was still speaking to me. He was still trying to show me that I am all that he wants you know he wants me just the way I am and I'm good enough and but I allow the devil to whisper in my ears and and I would believe his lies over and over and over again and so I read the Bible and the scripture that morning was talking about um, that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made and like I was about to doubt, you know, but then I believe God was ministering to me in my lowest moment and, and I started to believe it. And there was this, um, there was this plan at the bottom based on that scripture and I clicked on it and, and I realized that I've been, I was being spiritually attacked. And a lot of times we, you know, we take things for granted. We... You know, we, I know sometimes we, we blame everything on the devil, which it's our fault. But there are times that the enemy, we need to realize that the enemy is fighting for our lives. Because in the, in the Bible, it talks about the devil um, roaming, like a, like a, like roaming about, you know, seeking whom he may devour. And, and his main reason for being here is to destroy us and my low self-esteem and i'm sure many of you out there you're struggling with low self-esteem it's not just a personal thing it's a spiritual thing and if the devil 
if he if he gets you in your mind I'm telling you if if it's it's kind of over you know like if you're beating up on yourself like he doesn't need to use anybody else to get to you or to damage you if he can get you to do it yourself you know what I mean so so I decided to fast and pray because I realized that I have been attacked spiritually you know I God has been giving me visions and God has been giving me dreams and I would doubt myself I would I would tell myself that it's probably for somebody else you know I can't accomplish these things I can't you know and I would talk down to myself and I the devil realized that God has been speaking to me and God has been giving me different desires to do God's will. And because of this, he he knew he needed to get me down more. He knew he needed to have me sink a little lower in my self-esteem. And so now I believe that God has delivered me and and I am fighting constantly to overcome the the you know the devil and his his plans to destroy my life so my encouragement for you out there if you're struggling with low self-esteem it's not just a topic of society you know a lot of people just make it like a topic it's one of the devil's best his best weapon to cripple us and to destroy us and once he gets us to do it he doesn't need to do much of the work is once we don't believe in ourselves, trust me, it's hard for us to believe in anything else or anybody else out there. You know, we, we doubt our relationship with God. We doubt our relationship with anybody. We don't trust anybody because we can't trust ourselves because we don't believe in ourselves. And that is exactly what the devil wants. Do not be fooled. Do not be tricked into thinking, oh, it's just me. And No, this is exactly where the devil wants you. He wants you to feel low so that you won't rise up because he knows that the power that we each possess that God has given to us and he knows what we're capable of so my encouragement to you is not to try to win this battle on your own like you know going and talking to the mirror and speaking positive things to you. yes those things can help but the root the foundation the the cause of it is deeper it's spiritual so my encouragement to you would be to get desperate for God, you know, get into your Bibles, talk to God, pray fast and pray and, and really tell God that this thing is destroying your life and, and that you need him. And believe me, I got desperate for God and God delivered me. And I'm saying delivered because I believe that he has delivered me because if he, if he didn't, I wouldn't have been doing this. Trust me, this has been a battle for me for a long time. But I believe God is doing a new thing in my life and I want him to do a new thing in your life. So please don't take low self-esteem as something simple, as something, you know, just to brush off. It's, it's a weapon that the enemy uses. And trust me, this is why a lot of people are committing suicide. It's not it's not it's a spiritual battle it's serious it is that serious like a moment just the other day like I felt like I actually told God I was like God I don't think I have purpose like I don't I don't think there's any need for me to be around and this is how this is how he was attacking my mind and he was attacking my my belief in God and I was actually at a point where I'm thinking like why am I even here why did God even create me and so the devil wants you to feel like if you make no sense and God that's not how God sees us if he saw us that way he wouldn't have died for our sins that's God sees us as important that's why he gave his life up for us so Please don't take low self-esteem as something simple. It's deeper than that. So please get on your knees. Please pray. 
Well, I'm going to pray with you right now. So, let's go. Heavenly Father, we come before you, God, and we we thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love, God. Lord, without you, we don't know where we would have been. And we thank you, O oh God, for the sacrifices that you have made. Lord, you see those that are struggling with low self-esteem, as I did. And God, we ask you even now to touch their minds, God. Touch their minds and help them, O oh God, to see themselves the way you see them, O oh God. To see themselves as important as you see them with value, with purpose, O oh God. And I pray, O oh God, that you lift every burden, every heaviness, every you know, every every low thought that they have about themselves and help them, oh God, to see you and to, to, to live for you and to glorify your name, God. I pray, oh God, that you lift every burden, every every everybody that's in bondage. I pray you break every chain, God. And this can only happen in no other name but the name of Jesus. So thank you for listening. And I hope that it has blessed somebody's heart. Bye, and please subscribe. <laughs>